Welcome to Lab360 for today's breaking science news. Robots are already being used to accomplish everyday tasks. They are efficient and accurate. All the big tech companies are using robots in some way or another, be it packaging, manufacturing, surgery or transportation. People have mixed views when it comes to robots. Some people think that they will eventually take over human jobs. In this day and age, robots are needed as they can perform tasks which are deemed too dangerous for humans. They can be cost-efficient as well, as you don't have to spend any money feeding it. All the big space agencies have started sending robots into space to collect valuable data. Mexico is the latest country to do so. Recently, five small robots, conceived and built in Mexico, will launch to the moon later this year as part of a first-of-its-kind scientific expedition. The two-wheeled bots will scramble around the lunar surface while gathering detailed measurements. You can think of them as little wallies. Just picture Wally -E, roaming around on the surface of the moon, collecting important data. This is going to be exactly like that. The so called nano robots, produced by experts at Mexico's National Autonomous University, would work together like a swarm of bees once they reach the moon on board a rocket from closely held American firm. The mission, which will be launched on a Vulcan rocket by United Launch Alliance, will be the first American spacecraft to land on the moon in 50 years. The bots, which are constructed of stainless steel, titanium alloys, and space-grade aluminium, are prepared to collect lunar materials that could be helpful in future space mining, according to the scientist. The team members tested a launch device for the wafer-thin, almost 5-inch diameter disc-shaped robots, which are planned to communicate with one another as well as with an Earth-based command center. The bots will launch in June atop Astrobotics Peregrine Lander, which was originally designed for Google's Lunar X Prize competition. According to sources, the nano robots will take the first ever lunar plasma temperature, electromagnetic, and regolith particle size measurements throughout their month long mission. The team expressed excitement about the impending trip, which will comprise 200 engineering, physics, math, and chemistry students. No one has done this, not only in Mexico, said one of the scientists. We can make a difference in terms of technology and international cooperation, which might lead to significant collaborative ventures to investigate minerals or conduct other scientific research. Isn't this an amazing time for science? With the James Webb Space Telescope aligning its mirrors and Israel's Ultrasat Space Telescope ready for launch, humanity has never had a better moment in space exploration. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below to let us know.